What are some pros and cons of being an embedded software engineer? Let's find out. Let's start off with the pros. Embedded software engineers have very complex problems to solve that can take a long time to figure out, mostly because they can be associated with hardware some way, or they can be problems on a register level that are just really hard to figure out in the first place. There are opportunities to learn about different microcontrollers if you're working in the lower levels of embedded software. You could learn about microcontrollers such as SCM, TI, Silinx, ESP, NXP, and so on. Also so many chances to work with 8, 16, 32, or 64 bit architectures. There are opportunities to work with some really nice embedded software developers and hardware engineers, or in general, great engineering teams. I've personally had great experiences with people that I've worked with, and I think that made my work experience so much more fun in various companies. There are many different tools to play with, such as oscilloscope, logic analyzers, and debuggers. A lot of people tend to think that this niche of software engineering is underpaid, but I disagree. Well, at least it should not be underpaid, no matter what country the position is located in. I personally had a competitive salary compared to other software engineering positions in my area, if not even higher. Based on like salary.com or classstore.com, the US average salary for embedded software is pretty much the same for as regular software engineering. I think the biggest pro is that you can work with a physical product. You can have a physical product in your hand and you have that LED blinking there and you press the button and it does something. And I think that will make the experience much more fun being an embedded software engineer being able to experience that. But as a disclosure, a lot of embedded software engineering positions might not even have the opportunity for you to even see the physical product. I was working for a company where I really didn't even see the physical product the entire time. Like, I mean, it was, it was a train. I knew what a train looked like that was about it i never actually accessed the train or saw it in the movement or saw an led blinking or making like that i just worked with simulations and those were hardware simulations as well built with another set of software and hardware essentially cons the biggest con is that if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet you should do it right now Seriously. Embedded software engineers have smaller number of jobs available compared to regular software development. There are even fewer jobs available if you are a non-citizen or non-immigrant in the US. I personally could not get a job directly in embedded software right after college when I didn't have my residency because most of the jobs in my area required citizenship or permanent residency due to the work related with US government. This can vary from location to location, obviously, but you definitely have lower odds of getting a job in this field as a non-resident. Resident. There are also fewer opportunities for remote work. There are some positions out there for remote and I've worked remote for a couple years, but in general, majority of positions are on site or if you do work remote, you might be required to have your own lab, which can be really expensive. Another thing is that embedded software engineers work with tight constraints. You're often working with real time systems that are timing limited and have less RAM and less storage to work with. Embedded software engineers have very complex problems to solve that are really hard to track down. I have basically mentioned this as a pro, but it can definitely be a con. I remember spending days trying to find a bug in the system that was caused by an incorrect value written to one register. So it can get tedious or it can rob your personal time when you're off work, even if you enjoy problem solving. I was so excited about the solving the problem that I went into the weekend and I couldn't solve the problem. And I kept thinking the whole weekend about potential solutions for the problem or how to solve the problem. So my goal was always to try to figure out the problem by the end of the day so I wouldn't have to think about it. And like, I know I don't have to think about it, but that's kind of how my brain was wired. It took me a long time to start rewiring my brain and understanding that valuing my personal boundaries and just saying like, okay, work is done now. I gotta do my personal stuff. Another con for being an embedded software engineer is that you might be often forced to work with older tools like Kyle development tools or these Eclipse tools that constantly crash and so on. There's just so many pros and cons out there that I possibly can't list all of them. And it totally depends on a person as well. So if I say this is a pro, is it actually a pro for everyone? Probably not. I mean, some people might really hate this part, but I enjoy that part when I was working as an embedded software engineer. So your experience might be different, but I would love to hear your thoughts. So seriously, leave comments in the comment section below so I can read them and other people can read them to know the pros and cons of being an embedded software engineer. Make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye!